When it comes to heart health, I've already discussed uh, omega-3 fats, but there is another nutrient that is particularly beneficial for the heart, and that is coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 keeps the heart muscle strong. It prevents heart failure. Now, there's a difference between heart attack and heart failure. Heart attack is sudden. It's a heart stops beating because the blood vessels got blocked. Okay. Heart failure develops over years, and what it is is it's a weakening heart that becomes weaker and weaker, unable to pump the blood until you either die from fluid on the lungs, congestive heart failure, or your heart just basically gives up the ghost. It's so tired. And one of the substances that's used for heart failure is coenzyme Q10. But more importantly, if your body is lacking in coenzyme Q10, your risk of heart failure is greatly increased. Now, your body produces coenzyme Q10 naturally. It's made naturally by the, in the liver. Now, this is quite interesting. The enzyme that your body uses to make coenzyme Q10 is the same enzyme that your body uses to make cholesterol. Okay. If you are taking a medicine that blocks that enzyme, in other words, a statin medication, now all of your 95% or even more of all cholesterol products on the market, all cholesterol-lowering medicines on the market, are statins. They have different brand names, but look at the package insert and read the last six letters of the, brand, of the active ingredient. And if it ends with the words, the letters statin, like atorvostatin, simvastatin, uh, lovastatin, then, you, then it is a statin medication. It's very useful for lowering cholesterol, and as I said, it lowers your risk of, 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 heart, of death from cardiovascular disease by approximately 20%. But the thing is, that enzyme, by blocking that enzyme and therefore blocking the formation of cholesterol, you're also blocking the natural production of coenzyme Q10. And when your body becomes depleted in coenzyme Q10, you develop cardiovascular heart failure. And this was published in the February 2006 edition of the Journal of Cardiology. And they showed that in particular they were studying atorvostatin, which is a commonly prescribed statin in this country, showing that the lack of coenzyme Q10 induces left ventricular dysfunction. That's your main part of your heart. And it showed that coenzyme Q10 reverses that left ventricular dysfunction. The first, one of the first signs that your body is deficient in coenzyme Q10 are muscle aches. And if you have a person that is on cholesterol-lowering medicine and they start complaining of muscle aches, the first thing they should be put onto immediately is coenzyme Q10. In fact, Anybody on statin medications should be on coenzyme Q10. Now, we have two types of coenzyme Q10. The ordinary one, which is called coenzyme Q10. The chemical name for it is ubiquinone. But then we have another one called ubiquinol. Now, ubiquinol is a superior form of coenzyme Q10. It's reduced coenzyme Q10, and it's superior because it's very well absorbed from the body, from the stomach. It's eight times better absorbed than ordinary coenzyme Q10. We have added piperine to our ordinary cones of Q10 because there have been studies to show that piperine, which is a peppery-like substance, enhances the absorption of cones on Q10. But it doesn't enhance it enough. Other brands don't add piperine, to the best of my knowledge. Maybe they do if they've copied us, but I don't think they do. Um, the, the ubiquinol, however, is superior to even ordinary cones on Q10 with piperine because it is eight times better absorbed. It also maintains blood levels 66% higher. Now, the studies showing cardiovascular benefit are best, the studies that show the best results are when the levels of coenzyme Q10 are sustained at a high level. And the levels are sustained 66% higher with the same milligram inch dosage of ubiquinol. So you'll see there's a brochure inside here. Has your coenzyme Q10 become obsolete? You can read it at your leisure, but it just describes the new ubiquinol form of coenzyme Q10. It's one to two capsules taken daily. Uh, especially for people that are on statin medication. But generally, if you just look under general heart health, remember it's number two. So even if you haven't got a personal cardiovascular medicine, but you're worried, you're a male over 40 or 50, you're overweight, you don't exercise, you're in a heart attack waiting to happen, please be on or recommend to that patient that they're on omega-3s, coenzyme Q10, and magnesium, the best things you can do for that poor patient, which is all under, for example, under heart for general um, heart protection.